Alrighty, now you are welcome. It is time for book chat. And of course, our book of the week is Kiesi, a collection of African stories for children. And uh, we're joined by the author here himself, Tony Oladniji. You are welcome. Good to have you here. Thanks for having Some me. Very interesting stuff in this book here. I hope Thank I you. first of all got it right. Kiesi. Kiesi, yeah. That's Kiesi. It. What's the meaning of Kiesi? Kiesi means pay attention to it. Mm, it's it's actually talking about the art of attention mm. when you pay attention to something. Okay. So it's so it's so important because you know when you check the way the world is now, one of the major problems now is we don't pay attention mm. okay. to our children, even to our lives. Our culture. Yes. We've lost focus. Yes, seriously. Very so. interesting fact about our author here today. He's actually uh, a winning uh, award-winning screenwriter, a piano player, and also a children's piano trainer. So you do have a lot of, uh, what's the word, uh, um, experience when it comes to children. So yes. I would imagine that that's what influenced you writing a children's yeah. book. Now, the culture in this book is one thing to take note of. I like the fact that these are stories that are relative to our environment, relative to our people, relative to the way we grew up and what we want to impact in the next generation, which is something that we actually see kind of like eroding or seeping away. But these stories, a collection of stories, actually refocuses us, just like you say, Kiesi is yes. actually um, a focus. So what, it, what, what inspired you to write uh, a collection of African stories or with African origins? Okay, for um, one of the reasons, um, my daughter came home one day from school and she brought a storybook. So when I read the storybook, I felt, you know, I could do even mm -hmm. better things like this, I mean, than, than this. Mm -hmm. And um, apart from that, you know, I had a very exciting childhood. Mm. Just like what you just said, you know, I was an actor. I was a child actor. Oh, really? Yeah, I was an instrumentalist. So I had a very exciting childhood, okay. you know, in the world of arts. Nice. So, okay. and I've been nurturing the idea for a very long time, but I didn't pay attention to it because I was fully focused on music. Okay. So, but I just felt, let me do this. So and I started. One of my best stories is Insectivore with Olumantis and <laughs> everybody. The names are very, very interesting, guys. You guys are going to love this. But I also noted that at the end or at the bottom of each page, there is a little note. It's yeah. either a, uh, a definition of some sort or, yes. you know, like uh, I'm looking for one now. You define the words for the kids. Like this one, the entire page here has this note here, dazzled to impress someone with your skill. So it's not just about the storytelling, it's also about educating um, the kids um, with new words and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, and it's separated into uh, parts. You have stories for certain age groups yes. and then the other. What is your aim for the book? Are you looking at it being some sort of textbook for a school curriculum or, or what exactly? Yeah, it's, 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 it's one of the, um, the one of the things that I'm looking at, mm -hmm. you know, like I'm, I'm mm -hmm. discussing with uh, the Lagos government okay. for that to get it adopted in schools. Okay. So, and again, you know, um, like um, I'm trying to go to schools, you know, both private and public schools to share the, um, the idea. story. Then the idea behind KSC, you know, especially because the stories are meant to highlight that particular, you know, idea. He is paying attention. Paying attention. It's actually the driving, you know, force behind the book. Okay. Paying attention. That's what I want to really project. Okay. So really, I'm working on getting it to schools. All right. And Great. getting it, you know, Great. adapted. Uh, let's talk about the art for the book. If you uh, have a copy of this book, you'd identify with the very African art here. Um, if you were to pick up a... Snow White book, for instance, Seven Dwarves, or, you know, we have these very interesting stories that our kids are very familiar with, but the imagery is something that they are unfamiliar with. We live in Nigeria, we're Africans. What we are used to seeing is very different from, you know, the depictions from these books, but yours actually brings us back to that African sense. Everything on here is relative to what a child will experience, the stories that they hear, their parents tell of the chicken or the tortoise or uh, the, the tiger and the prey <laughs> mantis and all of that. Who did you work with when, when it comes to the art for the book? The art, you know, the challenge I had when I was working on this book was, um, you know, we have fantastic artists in Nigeria, illustrators. Illustrators, yes. But they, they are very expensive for me. Mm. So I couldn't afford the good ones mm. that I saw. 
So I went to um, an online store and I saw some people. Actually, two people worked on the book. Okay. One is an Iranian. <clears throat> oh, the other is um, an Indonesian. They are not Nigerians. Wow. So but the challenge was you, you, I needed to explain the concept of Africanness mm. to them before they could come up with this. It was a challenge, really. Well, you did a good job because, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to tell, I wouldn't have told <laughs> um, that this was done by anybody but an African. Mm -hmm. um, are you looking to perhaps maybe have this in some animated format eventually? Because that's the way the world is going now. <laughs> I'm working on that. It might be expensive for your pocket, but hopefully this is going to pick up and you're going to be able to afford such a project. But I think that that would be great. I'm working on that. And Mr. Oladniji, it is fantastic to have you on the show. We Thank love you. the fact that you've put this together. And now that I'm done with this interview, this belongs to my daughter. I'm going to have you sign it after so that <laughs> no she problem. can have it. Thank you very much for bringing us such Thanks a world of interest and stuff when it comes to storytelling for kids. Thank and you, I will look forward to your future pro projects. Now, okay. do stay tuned because we have more coming up. Um, hey, guess what? Uh, MM, or M&M, like Abiola called her, <laughs> is in the kitchen, and we're looking forward to seeing what exactly it is we'll be having for breakfast this morning.